What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as Irelia in the top lane. And uh, this is just a normal game with a bunch of my friends. We got Evan, we got Sebastian, we got Orlando, the base Yuna, and then we got Acromorph, of course. Which, if you guys know Acromorph, you probably know him from uh, Captain Monk's videos. One of his friends, good AD carry, great person, also makes videos himself. So, cool guy. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started with this game. Don't know what I'm doing with Aurelia, but Aurelia was a very highly requested champion for the top lane, and I used to play her a decent amount. But like I just said, I don't really know what I'm doing, because it's top lane, so I have no idea what I'm doing in general, like in the first place. I just kind of know that I push, and I go all in, but I don't play top lane like that. I play top lane like, I want to kill shit, yo. I want to fuck stuff in the ass, and, okay, that's a little vicious for a female, but... I will be shoving my Will of the Blades up into Gangplank's, you know, in, in, in his booty, if you know what I'm saying, his treasure. But, we will plunder his deeps, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. Anyways, as far as I know, I did start with a Doran's shield because I know the life regen will help me on top of my W. Um, because Gangplank does a lot of poking, but the sustain will help me a lot, along with uh, also reducing the damage from his autos when I'm trading with him and stuff like that. So overall, I think it'll be a good choice. Uh, I'm running 921.0 Masteries and a flat AD page. Not really sure what else to run. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. And wait, where's Evan? Oh, there he is. I didn't see him on the map. I was all confused. But Evan actually is running his, uh, his flash teleport blitzcrank. So that, that should be fun. But as far as I know, uh, this matchup is actually, um, I wouldn't say heavily, but it definitely swings into the favor of Irelia. Due to the fact that, of course, you can already see how easily I can sustain up from his shots. But also the fact that if I just let him shoot me, I can immediately stun him right after it. And that makes my job a lot, lot easier when I'm fighting him. So even though it hurts, as long as I maintain autoing, I am okay. So let's go ahead and just keep getting CS for now. Because pretty much as Irelia, you don't want to be trying to do much for a little while other than farm. Or at least until you're level 4. So let's go ahead. Well, I guess he's trying to force this trade already. And I'll go ahead and pop my potion right now. I just used my W to try and make sure I would get that trade. And after I... Oh, God, he crit me. Oh, God, he crit. Okay. <laughs> that hurt. That definitely hurt. So let's see. Got the blade surge. And... All right. I don't know about this. Oh, we got Orlando coming up. I'm just going to wait for him just a tiny bit. All right, there he's level 3. But here he comes coming in. He's going to jump to the... He's not going to jump to the minion. Let's see the bola landing. Let's go ahead and pop this Q and get the ignite for the first blood right there. Very unnecessary ignite. I was trying to use the ignite uh, almost as a preemptive sort of thing because I thought... Uh, oh, thank you for tanking the minions. But I was trying to use it as kind of a... Oh, God, oh, God. Okay, minions. Got it. We're good. We're good. Okay, as I've been trying to say like four times now, I was trying to use it kind of preemptively to make sure, fuck, I didn't have my W on. That I would uh, cut his healing so he wouldn't be able to just turn and kill me. So fuck, I didn't let myself out of that either. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm not juicing the back yet because I want to get all these minions that were right here. So let's go ahead and just make sure I get those. And then I'll go back. Fuck! Oh my god. This sucks. Alright, whatever. Going back now, level four. Wave is kind of towards me still. Gameplank will probably come back to lane and shove it. Uh, I don't really want to risk staying any longer because if he decides that he wants to jump me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get shit on. So I'm going to go ahead and just buy... Um, yeah, I'll just buy the or the longsword boots and some potions. That way I can kind of run faster, have a bit more damage, and uh, also have the sustain. Where Gameplank just bought a second wa or a Dorn's Blade. So pretty even. Um... I, I'm able to start Blade Surge CSing now, which makes it a lot easier, especially under tower. Uh, I just have to get used to it again. But I think we'll be okay. Because when you CS with, with your Blade Surge, it um, reduces some of the mana costs, and then also uh, makes it so you... Boop! Alright, let's go ahead and get some damage off on here. And boop! Blade Surge, auto with the W. Look at that out trade. And the reason I was waiting to use my Equilibrium Strike is what I was saying earlier. As soon as he hits me, I can just hit him with my E, and it'll stun him. Force him to use his oranges right then, and then, um... Well, pretty much, 
It, it's really hard to out-trade Nireli in the first place because of her W. And if she's already on you, you can just W and then keep autoing until they start running away. And then you can Q, and then you can auto more. And when you have your W up, it actually applies that extra 2 damage to the, uh, the Blade Surge when you use it on someone. So it's really good to sit there and use it like that. So let's go ahead and just stand up pretty far forward. Because if I know if he tries to come to me, I can uh, definitely out-trade him. And if he goes up for the CS, I can try and punish him for it. So, boop, this is exactly the kind of position you want to be in because it's effectively denying him. Oh, God, I want to get this. Okay, we got the main. It's all good. Boop, and as long as I just stay forward, look, you can tell he's scared. So let's go ahead. Oh, I should have hit him on that one. But it's okay. Now I have my level 3 W. I will be doing a lot more damage. After my ignites up, I can probably just all in him, to be honest. Um... So I'll I'm actually going to pull, there we go, there's the shot. Now I can stun him if he comes up here. I'm trying to get this siege me and I will stun you up, son. Boop. Alright, making a miss minions. Come on. Boop, there we go. going to force him to see us under tower now, so this is going to be good for me. Because even though it's game plank, it's still going to be not the easiest thing in the world for him to see us under tower. Let's go ahead and, uh, no, I don't know if I made him not get it or not. Either way, um, oh shit, I didn't push it hard enough. Whoops! Alright, well, Phil 6 is mid, so I'm not worried about a gank. Oh, we do have a gank coming in for us, though. Potentially here in just a moment, so I'm gonna go ahead. Oh god, that was not what I wanted to do. Total bait! No, oh, he missed the bullet! Oh god, oh, that damage he's taken, though. Alright, let's go ahead and, you know what, if I have my blade surge... I would try and dive him, because I know I could with my ultimate and my ignite, so... Actually, you know what? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Don't... don't do that, jerk. Wait, where's... where's Fiddlesticks? What level is he? Alright, five. No worries. Alright, let's go ahead and just... boop! Let's go ahead and get these transcendescent blades out here, and... whoop! Where's... there's the kill! Picking it up. So the transcendescent blades picking up the kill along with my ignite. Zig's trying to ult me. Not going to land in Ziggs. Um, well, looking like a chump. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. With that gold in your mouth and the hat turned sideways. Pants at the ground. Bow, 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 bow. And that will be the kill off on two game plank. And the Ziggs ult for, uh, for me. So, boop. Get all those CS and now I'm going to go back. I'm actually going to go back in this bush because I know this one's warded. So if he comes back in time, he could just run up and hit me and... Well, that just wouldn't be fun. So how's the CS looking? 101 to 021, 40 CS to 55, and since I just watched his number go up, that means I know he's doing the, um, the what's a who's it's right now. Fuck, I didn't want to buy that dagger. The golems. But I'm saying I didn't want to buy that dagger because, um, I should have saved up for Sheen, but it's totally fine. It's totally fine. Anyways, the uh, the phage will help me out with my sticking potential. Got more potions again. Uh, the dagger, I mean, it'll help me out, and I'm going to need it anyways. But I definitely should have just gotten a second Doran's Blade. Or, not a second Doran's Blade, but a Doran's Blade, probably, for more damage. Um, probably would have helped a lot, and all he got on that back was an adverse Blade. So my dueling power over him is really skyrocketing right now. And after I get to the point where I can um, use whatever it is, whoop, let's go ahead and just do a bunch of damage to him here. And that will be... No chance for the game plank to really, uh... There, there's really no chance he can outduel me since he just bought an Avarice Blade. I know Fiddlesticks is over it as red. Um... Boop. Maybe... Maybe. I know, yeah, I know Fiddlesticks is up here, so I'm not sure if I really want to fight this. Um... Because I don't have that word, and Fiddlesticks can very easily ult over that wall. So, I think I'm just going to let it take this chance to push towards me. And this is good. Oh, there he's, Fiddlesticks. There he is. There's the, there's your boy, Fiddles. Boop. Now let's go ahead and level the Equilibrium Strike second for the increased stun. And we'll go ahead and just W dash there, stun him up, and then get some good damage off on here. The Transcendescent Blades coming out, going to do a good amount of damage to him. And let's see, Fiddle Six is coming up. Oh, Fiddle Six is draining. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, don't need me. JK, I'm not coming. All right, let's see. Where's Game Plank? Come here, Game Plank. Whoop. Going to go ahead and flash him. Boop. Get that. What? What? Okay, got the kill. It's worth. <laughs> got the kill. I don't even care. Going to pick up my whole zeal now. No. 
Always ham. <laughs> Actually, he's right. I totally shouldn't have done that. Uh, <laughs> but, like, dude... I was telling you guys earlier, I just want to get kills! And actually, if I'm going to be totally honest, I'm going to try and justify this for you guys, even though this is exactly why it's not worth it, these minions right there that I'm missing. Um, I'm going to try and justify it in a way that'll kind of make a little sense to you guys. Since I'm dominating lane so well right now, and getting all this dueling potential above him, um, it'll actually help me out a lot. The fact that I can kill him and it'll be worth more money again, because he picked up a kill on me. So even though it's totally stupid and you should never do that in a serious environment, uh, there's at least somewhat of a justification there. So you can see that, uh, no, I missed the siege minion. But you can see that uh, not it's not all bad. So let's go ahead and just keep getting CS here. What's the CS looking like? 53 to 68. So I'm not weighing as hard as I should be right now. But I'm still doing fine. Okay, another miss CS there. Boop! Let's get that one at least. Um... And I don't know if you guys saw what I did that last time that I engaged on him before the tower. I actually used a low minion with my W up to Q do it, reset my blade surge cooldown, and get myself right next to him to uh, stun him and get some damage off. So that was what I did there. Um, whoop, should be good. Oh, he missed that siege minion. How you feeling? How you feeling? So it's, um, I guess they're pinging up here. Cat, come. Oh, do they want to dive? Does Sebastian want to dive this? Ooh. Ooh. I don't have my f Oh, God. Uh. Alright. Alright. Oh, are we doing this? Uh. There we go. Now I can get my stun up on him. Let's go ahead and get this potion taken. Make it look natural. You feel me? And it looks like... Okay, here they come. Boop. Oh. 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 Oh, the stun is missing. But Sebastian is not doing some damage up here. Oh, Fiddlesticks getting jumped, and that will be one kill going off on him. And the stun coming out. Let's go ahead and jump in here and boop, get that double kill off for Orlando. And I'll get a little bit of a help time in there. So easy dives, double kills for us. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my ultimate through this wave, heal myself up, and also pick up uh, boop, boop, those minions, and we'll be able to get this tower as well. And that's another part of the or of Irelia's ultimate that you need to not forget is that it does heal you. Um, for actually a lot of HP if you're hitting a lot of targets with it. And it does, what, it's four times more healing, I think? Oh, never mind. 25% of the damage dealt against champions and 10% against monsters. I thought it was four times more on champions and then however much on monsters, but I was wrong. So my mistake's there. And I'm actually, I should have just stayed for another wave so I can get my sheen on that back. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm actually just going to go do the jungle camps real fast, the wolves and the white. And that will get me enough money to have my sheen. Um, which, with how they changed Trinity Force, I might not be able to afford it for just a second. So to be honest, I'm probably just going to stay out until I can afford it. But let's go ahead and just uh, always sit here and farm up. I didn't farm super well in lane. Um, but as far as denying him and still doing a decent job myself, I think I did okay. I could have obviously done better, but we did okay. So let's go ahead and just kill this, and boop, boop, it looks like Sebastian is getting ganked, the Ziggs ultimate coming out, the stun, and the flash over the wall, Gangplank ultimate coming out, maybe could have gone and helped him, but, Fiddlesticks ultimate coming out, Gangplank picking up the kill, with the, uh, with the shiv going off on him, and Sebastian, you can see, slightly puzzled, so many ultimates going down, let's go ahead and come here, come, come here, go, yeah, alright, so good damage coming off on him here, and, yep, that'll be, oh, God, he crit me with the shiv. Okay. Doesn't matter. Still going to... Uh, got the siege minion. Worth. Doesn't even matter. Nothing else matters. Boop. And now we can just get a bunch of minions just like... Huh? And... Bang. And... Bang. And... Bang. Oh, I crit that one. Bang. 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 Oh, no! I missed that one! <gasps> Balls in my mouth, dude. All right. Let's go ahead and transcend Descent Blades this wave. And boop. One more. And boop and boop and now I'm going back because now I can get my whatever who is it's called the uh yeah the Trinity Force the big power spike item for Irelia the biggest power spike item for Irelia and then I'm going to get actually a longsword for the Bork um because Bork and Trinity Force are literally all the damage items that Irelia needs and then you just go full tank and then you wreck everything because Irelia is broken and OP and super strong 
And I don't know about Broken Ropey, but she is pretty strong when you have those two items and go full tank. Because her sticking potential is out of this world, especially on a target like a Kog'Maw, that has no way to get away from you other than just straight up running. And, with her passive, um, she gets increased tenacity when there's more champions around, up to 3, for 40% more tenacity. So, pretty big increase there. And I'm not going to be able to get there in time for that siege me, I don't think. Nope. Wait! Yeah, I got it! Got it! Oh, God, I got the siege minion. Best day of my life. All right, boop! And let's go ahead and equilibrium strike here. Do some good damage off on him. And let's uh, get one more out of there. The shiv is not going to get you away from me, bucko. So let's go ahead and you know, get this equilibrium strike and the transcendescent blades for the kill. Just chasing him down. You are not getting away from me, Mr. Booty Pirate. So let's go ahead and just charge back over to this wave. Pick up these mains and start pushing once again. So boop, and boop, and boop, all right, good, and boop, all right, no more of that, okay, well, maybe one more, boop, oh, God, I didn't boop, it's okay, boop, no more, let's keep getting these minions, though, so, let's see, 119 to 82, definitely seizing our advantage now, didn't use either of my summoners on that kill either, so, it was good. And that, that, that was just one of the times where it's like, obviously I could have used the Ignite and made sure I secured the kill a bit more safely, but at the same time, I knew, fuck, that I missed the Siege Minion, and that my life is over. Um, everything sucks. Fiddle 6 is dead, is this red up? No, of course it's not, son of a bee sting. Alright, let's see, come on. Yo. Yo. Boop! Boop! Look at that damage! Look at that damage just from popping my W Blade Surgeon onto him. Oh god, Evan's coming up. What the fuck? All right, popping the Ignite and we'll be using the Transcendent Blades. Boop, there's the Equilibrium Strike. And Evan just wanted that kill. No, Evan died. Oh no, Evan died. But, oh, oh well. Evan died for me to pick me up a kill. So thank you, sir. The teleport off of my ward, actually. <laughs> we'll get him screaming in here. And let's uh, go ahead and dip on out of that but keep getting these mains so turn right the fuck back on around and I should be able to get this tower as well so two towers in the name of science and boop oh no I said boop there we go now I can go and get the uh, the cutlass and my ninja tabbies I think and I'm getting ninja tabbies this game because even though they have a lot of magic damage Kog'Maw is gonna shred me late Gameplane does a lot of auto damage and I don't really need the increased tenacity due to the uh, due to my passive so, I think Ninja Tabbies would be a slightly better choice for me this game. So let's pick that up, put that on the 3 key, get myself some motherfucking health potions, and we'll charge back to land. Still have the flash in hand, just saw someone walk into that bush, I thought, but I, don't, I guess I totally didn't. Because Crittle 6 is mid, and let's see, what the fuck, Orlando's 9 and 1? When did that happen? Whatever. Good job, Orlando, 9-1-1 Rengar. So he's already got 10 trophies on that. Two more trophies, which would be two more kills or assists, will be uh, increasing his ultimate duration by five seconds, and that's pretty huge. Uh, that means he can do that shit from super far away and wreck face. So come on, whoop, and boop. There we go, get some good damage off on him. Let's go ahead and transcend Death and Blades, use the cutlass, slow him down, and get these autos off, and boop, and boop, and ha ha. Kill him right there. Peace. Later, nerd. And that will be the end of Game Plank's life once I boop again. Alright. I'm never going to boop again for as long as I live. Even though it's such an uncontrollable urge to do it. I, I just... You know, there are just some times where you just can't. You know, there are just some times where you just gotta boop! But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Control it. Control it. Control it. Okay, Fiddle 6 is bottom. Game Plank's back up. My ultimate will be back up in 20 seconds. So, my all-in potential, oh god, oh god, my blade surge is on cooldown now. But my all-in potential, as I've been saying like a trillion times this game, so much higher than game planks. And I've, I've, I feel like I've displayed that a couple times now, just by, uh, by you know, all-inning him. And the fact that I've got a few levels on him, that's probably helping a little bit. So we can uh, maybe take a little damage here, and then just stun him up. Oh, oh. JK. It's okay, because I have lifesteal. Oh, hello, Nami. Can I fight them? Can I fight them? Hello, fight me. Duke it out with me! Duke with me. Boop. 
They're not duking with me. But the red buff is up, so I want to duke it out with that. I'm going to ward right there. Make sure that shit is... Oh, 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 God. Oh, God, get him. Get him. Get him. Evan, God damn it. All right, whatever. This red is ours. This is ours. Or this is mine, I guess, so... I'll just sit here and yoink the fuck out of it until it's dead. And then I'll finally give it one good old boop. And boop, there's the red for me. So let's see, it looks like Lucian getting bubbled over there. And I'm just sitting here standing guard like a sentry, uh, finishing off the red, not using my W for uh, for the reasons that I want to save it. And let's see, where is Ganga Planky? Are you still pushing Ganga Planka? Are you doing the golems Ganga Planka? No, he's not. Where the f Frick Freck Snick Snack did he go? I don't know, but I took the red, so let's go ahead and just charge back up here. Get these uh, get these minions in our in our stash. Oh god damn it. Blade Surge back on cooldown. No more fun times. Let's see. I am just about 300 gold away from my Bork, so that will help tremendously. It's 1850 after you have Cutlass now, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, hey, Ganga Planka. How are you, Ganga Planka? Ganga Planky? I don't know how he's doing. He's probably going to be dead soon, though. Oh, hello. Hello. Maybe I shouldn't be in here. Did he just try and teleport? I think he just tried to teleport. All right, well, they're not going to get me. Um, so, because, you know, I'm... Okay, really? What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you... What do you think you're... What do you think you're doing? God damn it! Fuck! Fuck you! Fuck! 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 Yes! Uh, come on! Come... Oh, oh, Gameplane got the kill! Wait, what happened to Sebastian? Did Sebastian get killed by the Xerath? Rip! Rip, Rip Sebastian. Doesn't even matter. Picked up the kill on Nami. That fucking hoe decided she wanted to go charging after me. I ain't gonna have that, you feel me? I ain't gonna have no disrespect like that. It's totally fine for Kog'Maw to be doing that. But the mannerless Nami trying to run after me? Uh-uh. No, no, no. She gonna die. So, picking up the kill on her at the cost of both my summoner spells. Getting my Bork in the process. I would say Earth. And, uh, I guess I don't notice that pink. So, that's, well, as good for us. I'll pick up a pink of my own, and I'll charge my sweet little ass back up to the top lane. So, let's see. Center of my W should stun. No, Sebastian. It's supposed to only be an 80% slow. Wait. That's okay, though. Back to top. Got the Bork. Time to shit on Gameplank more. He got the Ninja Tabbies. Um, that's about, actually, I don't know. It's hard to decide which boots are the best actually against Irelia. Um, cause even though most of her stuff does do physical damage, if you can get out of her, um, her stun, most of her damage truly comes from true damage. So it's actually better to stack health and then try to, uh, minimize the length of time you're trading with her after she has, uh, or while she has her W up. So that's probably the best way to deal with and Irelia is to uh, stack health and a bit of armor or like the attack speed slowing items like Frozen Heart or Randuins. So those ways are good ways to handle it. Let's go ahead and drop the pink back in this bush because I like this pink and I don't want this ward here. So another ward there. It looks like Nami's coming in. Gonna try and bubble me and I'm just gonna go boop the fuck out of her. JK! 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 Guys, I'm kidding! Holy shit! Holy shit, guys! Relax there. Oh, gee, many Christmas. There's f like a billion of them. Okay, well, we get bot turret. Um, and we got dragon. So, for uh, for Nami's, it was a one for one trade at the end of that. One for one kills trade, but we got maybe two turrets at this rate and a dragon. So, I'm gonna go off on a limb here and say total earth. Zig's ulting though to clear the wave. Looks like Evan's trying to tank the turret as long as he can, but Ziggs is going to be coming in from the side here, dropping the bouncing bomb. The living artillery doing some good damage off on him, but Kopma just used all of his mana, so he ain't going to be doing diddly. Um, and let's see here. I think a Spirit Visage would be a good choice for me, or a Wit's End, because that sounds more fun. So I'm going to go ahead and get that instead. Because, um, I mean, this game, I'm just going to have fun. And if I can get Wit's End for that magic resistance and more attack speed, do more damage? You bet your fucking ass I will, dude! Because you know how I think. Damage is king. 
So let's see. Get back to the top lane. That siege minion, though, is going to be mine. And let's go ahead and pop the W. Q. 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 Auto Q. And boop. 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 Look at that attack speed. I like it. All right. So more attack speed, you say? I agree. Good choice. So let's definitely go for this wits end. That sounds fun. And then let's go for, uh, you know what? Fuck it, dude. Let's get a Zephyr after this wits end. I don't even care, man. All right. Great choice, ankle spanking. Or we could get like a static shiv. Oh, the plan. The plan's coming together. Hoop. Got it. Hoop. Mm. Boop. Oh, God. Did, did enough damage. Didn't need a boop. What are they doing? Go away. Why are so many of you running towards me? God damn it. All right, JK. Shazam! Picking up that blade surge reset. And, oh, what the porpoise goop. All right, look at this, dude. They're fucking all charging me again. Like, get out of here. I don't want you. I don't want this. All right, it's okay. Give me this big golem shop. Bop, bibbity, bop. There we go. And... Let's see. Kog'Maw is down there. So not a lot of damage coming out from him. Fiddlesticks coming over here, and okay, there's like a billion of them coming over here. Oh, Rengar's coming in, and the kill going off on Tanami, maybe, and Transcendescent Blades coming out, and bip, bip, that will be one kill. Let's go ahead and get this stun off on him, and go ahead and bork that. Boom, double kill. Getting the two kills out of that will be my motherfucking bread now, son, and this will be mine. This is mine. I want this. I have earned it. So I will take it. Boop. I thought Sebastian was about to steal it. Oh, one more Sebastian. And Sebastian clearly did miss, so he didn't. Oh, the Cullen. After that zone. I didn't even notice the zone. So Sebastian probably didn't miss. He just, uh, he just, he just zone used. So I'm going to go ahead and just push this really hard again. And boop. Now that I have this red, ain't nobody going to try and front me. Because nobody's going to be able to. So let's see. We do have enough money for the wits end now. Doing tons and tons and tons of damage. And... Huh, 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 huh. Oh god, I missed. <laughs> oh god, I misclicked again, dude. These crits are really throwing my blade surges off. I am not a great Irelia, but that is okay. Oh god, she's so low. Oh god, oh, there's like four of them up here. JK, I am not going to do that. So I'm going to go back and uh, wait. Wait. Wits end. Okay. So... So 12.50 for that. Fuck. And what's in? Okay. So I need... I, I need 12.50 plus 1,600. That's 18.50. Okay, so I only need 500 more gold until I can get a stinger and my wits end. Let's do it. No going back until I can get both of them. So, whether that be through minion kills or normal kills or gangplank kills... Come here, gangplank. Come here, someone. Oh, God. We're coming, Acromorph! Oh, oh, that kill, though! And this will be wham! And one kill! And wham! Two kills! Picking up that double kill will be enough money right there for the Stinger. And the... Oh, God, he popped. He popped the Yomuz. He popped the ultimate. Here he goes. Fiddlesticks may be in trouble. And the thrill of the hunt is halfway through its duration. Getting closer and closer to the target. And the exclamation point and the leap. And that will be the terrify. But will he be getting away? No, he will not. Let's see the... Oh, God, the crow storm. And... Oh, let's see. At ah, boop. Picking up that ace. And bibbity bop. Picking up the kill. Putting me at 11 and 3. And let's go ahead and get out of here. So, oh, Acromorph didn't pick up the, oh my goodness gracious, didn't even pick up the right boots. But it's okay, Acromorph. We're going to be able to get the Stinger and the Wits End on this back. Put me at a massive 2.1 attack speed. <sighs> so close to the Zephyr already, yet so far still. So we're only 1,100 gold away. That's actually not that far. And we will charge back up to the top lane and Shrek some more people. So it looks like Ziggs. Uh, I guess he just pissed off the... Uh, the minions. So that, I mean, that's a bit of a shame for him. But, tis not of my concern, brethren. So let's go ahead and bibbity. And look at this attack speed. Look at that. Look at that attack speed. Ain't nobody handle this. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. 
Oh, hello, minions. Mmm. Come on, Game Plank, fight me. Oh, what does Orlando know? 13 and 1. That's that's what I should have gotten instead of all this thing. Like, if you wanted to go a real build, I, got, I told you guys the real build earlier. The real build earlier. You just get the two, uh, the Bork and the Triforce and go straight tank. Which is actually way better on Irelia. But this is just making me smile more than anything else. So that's why I'm doing this build instead. Um, but you get like Randuins, you get Thornmail, uh, Banshee, Spirit Visage, Sunfire Cape, things like that. All those things are viable. And let's go ahead and just, okay, I guess we'll just wreck this guy. So, JK just going to walk away. And this tower is still here. So, it's going to, rip, boop, see ya, boop, come on, damn it. Almost got him. Almost picked up that kill. I was trying to burst him because I realized... I actually thought we had this tower. So I tried to run down <laughs> to just escape from it. But, um... You know, I then found out there was not... There was there was uh, not a clear path there. There was actually... There was, in fact, still a tower. So that was, uh... Yeah. I fucked up. But you know, it's okay. As you guys could see, just with my burst on the Kog'Maw alone, even with me being exhausted, you guys could see how much damage I did to him in the very short time frame that I had to jump on him. So that's kind of essentially the effectiveness that Irelia has on squishy targets, because with the combination of her true damage and the burst from Trinity Force, if you just unload everything on one person, if it's a squishy target, they're not going to be holding up very well to it. And that's what makes Irelia so good, because she's really 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 good at sticking to a target like that too um if it's a target with a gap closer it's a bit different but it's still not hard by any means as long as you manage your uh, blade surge properly because irelia is incredibly fast on her own and people need to not forget that because just with her base movement speed she's so so quick <laughs> that you can pretty much just outrun anyone especially once you have a bit of items and let's go ahead and just pop the ultimate because the game's over they just surrendered We'll go ahead and just see if we can not kill that in, in, uh, in time. Sadly, didn't finish the Zephyr, didn't get to the full build. But you guys could see how I played lane, and how aggressively you can play, and how much damage I really is capable of doing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite else me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!